Good morning and welcome to Member Focus Monday. I'm Christina Schaefer, Director of Social Media for HAR. And we're very excited this morning to be joined by Ruth Tovar from Houston Transtar. Welcome to the program, Ruth. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm excited. Thank you so much for being here. And you are filling in. This was um, actually, we had mentioned Josh Scheidler, who is not going to be here this morning for very good reason. Um, but you are, you are helping out with us today. And we're very happy that you could be here today because you guys, you guys have some great initiatives going on and some resources that are really helpful to everyone in the greater Houston area that, that you're planning to tell us about today. Yeah, so we really want to talk about the It's Only a White Line campaign. Mm -hmm. That's a new driver safety initiative that we launched uh, last year or the year mm -hmm. before. And so it's fairly new. Um, and we also want to talk about a few tools that are going to be helpful for residents, uh, such as our Houston Transstar app and our Tow and Go program. Great. So before we get into all that, tell us a little bit about yourself, Ruth, who you are and what you do. Yeah, so I'm the staff analyst here at Houston Transstar. I've been here for about three and a half years now. Um, so I do communications, so I do social media, um, public outreach, uh, I write the press releases, organize press conferences, so anything um, public facing, that's what I do here. Very good. And Houston Transstar, I think a lot of people know of Houston Transstar um, because they you know, monitor traffic across the Houston area. That's typically what we see from you guys, but there are more services that you offer that we might not know about. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, so uh, Transstar is a unique partnership of four different agencies. So we are made up of the city of Houston, Harris County, Metro, and TxDOT. And so um, all these four agencies uh, work together here to basically share resources and exchange information. And so people, uh, when they think Transstar, they typically think traffic. Um, however, we also do emergency management. So we were actually the first in the nation to ever combine uh, transportation and emergency management. And so we take a lot of pride in that. Um, and so we're well known for our traffic management center. Um, however, we also have the Harris County Emergency Operations Center here. And so uh, responding to emergencies is a really big part of what we do, um, especially uh, during emergencies, uh, the press conferences that you may have seen um, in local news uh, with Judge um, Harris, County, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo or Mayor Turner. So all of those press conferences are actually run from here. And so we're a big uh, public information hub for the region as well. That's wonderful. That's good to know. Um, so what is your role during flood events and other natural disasters? How is Transstar involved with those? Yeah, so um, during flood events and uh, major hurricanes, um, our facility basically activates. And what that means is that um, we basically live here. We shower here, we sleep here until the emergency is over. Um, and so that's not only with the four partner agencies that are housed here. We um, we have all the agencies basically that come to Transstar and respond to this emergency, uh, such as the Red Cross, uh, the Coast Guard, um, even the media, they stay here and activate with us. Um, and so we really help out, um, push out important, potentially life-saving information to the public here during emergencies. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, during all of those natural disasters, those major events, hurricanes, et cetera, People are looking to the news, they need that information. So it's vital for you guys to be there. And we, we truly appreciate that work you do. Yeah. Um, so tell us about the roadway uh, flood warning system. How does that work? Yeah, so during Hurricane Harvey, uh, we basically realized that there was no real tool that residents had um, to be able to tell when there was flooded roadways. And so after Hurricane Harvey, we partnered with the Harris County Flood Control District. Um, and we basically used their already existing rainfall sensors and we overlaid it on our traffic map. And so now, um, now we have the roadway flood warning system. And so now uh, that same traffic map, uh, whenever it's raining or there's a major uh, flooding event, um, you'll see blue icons on the traffic map. And so when those come up, um, basically that tells people there is a high risk of, of roadway flooding in that area. And so that has been, a um, a game changer for our app. Um, and it's something that we're very proud of. Um, it's a really helpful tool to have, not just during a hurricane season, um, but year round. That's wonderful. Um, for those of you that are tuned in live, if you have questions for Ruth and about the work that Houston Transstar does, type those into the comments and we'll get to those. Um, tell us about uh, daily commutes, because this is something I know myself, 
when there's a need for the for the commute i'm turning on the local news i'm trying to see those traffic cams so how does transstar help with drivers daily commutes yeah so we keep an eye on the roadways 24 7 using our cctv traffic cameras um, and so we keep an eye on a very large portion of the region. So our traffic cameras go all the way north to Dallas, um, all the way east to Beaumont, west to Luling, and then all the way down south to Galveston, of course. And so we are keeping an eye on a very large portion of southeast Texas. Um, and so in our traffic management center, we have people there 24 seven. Um, so there are always eyes on the roadways uh, that includes nights, weekends, holidays. Um, and so the staff in the control room they're responding to incidents in real time. Uh, not only are they clearing the roadways, um, they're removing debris, um, the big digital message signs that you guys may see next to the freeways. So all of those signs are uh, pushed out from here, from Transstar. Uh, we also have Metro personnel on the traffic management center. And so um, they're ensuring that bus routes go, on, go out, um, that the routes are on time. Um, they're also managing the HOV, HOT lanes. Um, we also have City of Houston staff there, and so they're answering all of your 311 calls, mm -hmm. um, basically assisting with down traffic lights. And so there's a lot of uh, moving parts in the traffic management center. And so not only are we improving drivers' daily commutes um, on the freeways, but on local streets as well. That's wonderful. That's good to know. I mean, as you know, our, our audience is mostly our realtor members. and. This is a common, common question that they get. What is the traffic like? What is my commute going to be like? Um, so that's wonderful that you guys are constantly monitoring that. Now, just a, a question here. I mean, you're saying that they're watching these cameras 24 seven. Does the system also have some sort of automatic trigger if it notices what might be an accident or debris in the road? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so the region, we're basically keeping an eye on, I think it's over 5 million registered vehicles mm -hmm. every single day. And so that is a lot, a lot of vehicles and incidents to keep track of. And so uh, the way that we keep track of it is we have um, a traffic map. Um, you can access it at traffic.houstontranstar.org. And so the people in the traffic management center, they are updating this map in real time. And um, the way that it works is um, it's keeping track of the Bluetooth. So it can be on your cell phone, in your cars. And so that's basically what's letting people know um, when there's a slowdown, then it triggers um, the red color on the traffic map. And so that is how they're able to keep track of, of speed data. Okay. So that kind of leads me to my next question I had for you is where people can go to see those real time traffic conditions. So that is all on the website. Yes, yeah, so we have a web-based traffic map, the traffic.houstontranstar.org. However, we also have our Houston Transstar app, and so that's completely free for iPhone and Android. Um, and so that'll give you access to the traffic map. It gives you access to our traffic cameras as well. A lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as real time as we see them here, but it takes a, like a frame every three minutes. Um, and there you can have access to our roadway flood warning system as well. That's excellent. And that actually answered Claudia's question. She was asking, is there an app for the flood roadmap awesome. so that's that's all together yes so the roadway flood warning system is overlaid on that same map so okay. if you just download the houston transstar app it'll all be in there another question that just came in from peggy how can prospective buyers get commute info for a specific time of day so we actually have um, roadway alerts that you're able to sign up for. And so you can either just manually check the map every single day before you head out. Um, or if you have um, like the same route that you take every single day, you're able to sign up for alerts. And so you can sign up for either email alerts or text alerts. Um, and they'll let you know what's going on on the roadways if you only sign up for a specific, a specific roadway and during um, your commute times. Okay. So road safety is something that I, I think is top of mind for a lot of us. We get on the road, we wonder what the conditions are gonna be like, um, but also the other drivers on the road and other things that are happening. So what are some things that drivers can do to stay safe when they're on Houston roadways? So uh, we always wanna encourage drivers to keep their vehicles maintained. Um, you know, check the air pressure in your tires, have your brakes inspected and all of that. Um, that's the best way to avoid a vehicle breakdown. However, our main message to drivers um, is that if you please, uh, if you have a breakdown, please uh, do not get out of your vehicle. It's incredibly dangerous. So you can give us a call. Um, our main number is 713-881-3000. Uh, we do have a tow and go program that's also managed in the traffic management center. 
And so we will dispatch a tow at no cost to you. And so um, we encourage you guys um, to please exit the freeway if you can, um, so that you can get yourself out of danger. Um, but if you can't, then please give us a call and we'll assist you. Very good. Uh, just a comment that came in from Tiffany. Uh, she said the app is great and she enjoyed meeting you at our HR Engage conference. Houston Transtar had a table at our conference. Oh, yes. yes, yes, we did. Uh, we got to talk to a lot of people. There's a lot of people at that conference. So it's great. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah, that was wonderful. Um, so let's talk about the It's Only a White Line initiative. Um, tell us how this program aims to save lives. I'm sorry about that. So uh, we have our It's Only a White Line program that we just launched. And basically the white line is referring to um, the road shoulder. People call it the emergency lane. Um, mm -hmm. However, we don't like to call it that just because we want to let people know it's not a lane. That's not somewhere where you should stay. And so um, over the years, my apologies. And so um, over the years, we've seen horrible things happen on our traffic cameras every single day. Um, and so we'll see people pull over to the, the roadway shoulder and um, what they'll do is they'll get out of their vehicle and they'll start um, changing a tire. And so that is the most dangerous thing that you can do. So we see this all the time, unfortunately. Uh, we'll see people um, get off of their, their cars and um, try to see what the problem is um, on the road shoulder. And all it takes is one distracted driver um, you know, he'll slightly veer off of their lane and they'll hit the, the person that's on the roadway shoulder um, or they'll hit their vehicle. And so now you've gone from a simple flat tire to a fatality um, or a major injury. And so really the point of this campaign is to encourage people, um, you know, if you're able to exit, please exit to the next, uh, take the next exit and um, try and see what's wrong with your car outside of the freeway, out of danger. Um, however, if you can't get off of the freeway, then please stay in your vehicle, um, keep your seatbelt on, uh, get away from the steering wheel, uh, put your hazard lights on and give us a call and, and we'll help you right away. That's wonderful. I mean, and I think that the point of that um, campaign, it's only a white line. Um, like you're saying, some, sometimes people call it the emergency lane, but it's really not. Um, and it's not a barrier, right? It's, it's just a stripe on the ground. It's not keeping exactly. you safe. Exactly. And that's what we really want to let people know. Like it is it is just a white line. It is just the line of paint and it's not going to keep you safe. Okay. Can you explain to us what was happening in this uh, image here? Yeah. So um, that picture is a few years old, I believe. Um, however, we see this all the time. And so um, I believe he had exited his vehicle and um, I'm not sure what he was looking for, but uh, he was there for a while. And a lot of people do that all the time. And so they think that they're safe there just because uh, they're like, oh, well, I'm not uh, interrupting traffic. Um, mm -hmm. However, uh, well, you do slow down traffic uh, when you do that. Mm -hmm. um, but most importantly, you are putting yourself in danger. And what happens a lot of the time as well is we'll see people, um, we see good Samaritans as well, right? Um, they want to stop and they want to help people. Um, and of course, they, they have great intentions, um, but now they're uh, not only backing up traffic, but you're putting yourself in danger and the other person in danger as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I think one common thought is, especially if maybe there's an accident, um, that you have to stay there, that the police have to come, you have to file a report for your insurance to be covered. Is that is that not true? Yeah, so that is a very common misconception. Um, a lot of people always think, you know, if they move, the, their insurance is not going to cover them. However, that is not true. Um, insurance and law enforcement and everybody involved, their main priority is for you to be safe. Mm -hmm. And so um, if you ever get in a, in a car incident, in a, in a car accident, um, the first thing that you should do is get to a safe location. And then once you're at a safe in a safe location, then you can exchange insurance information. Uh, you can take pictures and then you can wait for law enforcement from a safe location. Um, if you stay on the freeway, um, you're backing up traffic and you're putting everybody in danger. Mm -hmm. I just saw this happen this weekend. There was an accident on the freeway and immediately both drivers got out of the car and went to go look at their car. And it was just a minor little bump, but here we are now in traffic and both drivers are, are walking around on the freeway. 
Yes, yeah, exactly. And that's the sad part is that a lot of times these are very minor incidents, um, but something so minor uh, can turn tragic in a matter of seconds. Well, and thank you for clearing up that misconception, because I think that is something that I mean, I, I know, you know, when I was learning to drive, that was what everybody did. That was what they taught you to do. But as you're saying now, the priority should be safety. Yeah, exactly. Okay, very good. We had a comment that came in, uh, a testimonial almost, if you will, uh, from Monique. She said she broke down the other day and within two minutes, one of the toes were there um, to get her to safety quickly. She's so thankful for the service. She said she actually ran out of gas, but they were there so fast. And she said, this will save lives. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. And um, yeah, honestly, Toe & Go, uh, they are very, very quick. I believe their uh, quick clearance time is somewhere from 15 to 17 minutes. And so really, th this is such an important tool for everybody to know about, um, especially for um, all the realtors that are watching this. If you have um, new Houstonians that are moving into town, please do tell them about this service. It can really save their lives. Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, and we'll get more information from you later on where they can get some resources. But I wanted to also talk over about talk to excuse me, talk about the move over slow down uh, law that took effect in Texas. Can you tell us how that works? Yeah, so the move over slow down law, uh, what that basically means is if you see an emergency vehicle and uh, an emergency vehicle can mean from um, an ambulance, um, law enforcement to a tow truck. So if you see any of those vehicles, law the law requires you um, to move over to the next lane. And if you can't, then you should reduce your speed uh, to 20 miles per hour below the posted speed limit. And so if the speed limit is 60 miles per hour, you should reduce your speed to 40 miles per hour if you're not able to change to the next lane. And so um, this law has been in effect. However, in September, um, there was stricter penalties that went into effect for this law. And so now um, if you don't follow this law, the first offense, um, it can mean from a fine up to $500 to $1,200. And if you break this law and cause serious um, injury, it could be a class A misdemeanor um, and up to a year in county jail. Wow. I mean, that's excellent. It's obviously something that is needed. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and really, the purpose of this law is um, to keep law enforcement and uh, emergency personnel safe. Um, first responders are putting themselves in danger every single day responding to incidents. Um, we have so many incidents every single day. And so really, this law is in place um, to try to keep them safe and to give them space um, in the freeways. Very good. If you have any other questions for Ruth, type them in now and we will take a look at those in just a minute. Um, you've talked about a, a, some different initiatives and some great resources that I think our realtor members should be and can share with their clients and customers, especially if they are moving to Houston, moving from one part of Houston to the other. So where can they learn more um, and how can they access all of the apps and tools you have available? Yeah, so um, if you want to learn more about our It's Only a White Line program, you can visit onlyawhiteline.org. Um, we also have the website available in Spanish. That's called solounalineablanca.org. And so, um, and if you want to learn more about Houston Transfer as a whole, you can go to our direct website, houstontransfer.org. Um, and of course, if you want access to all of our tools, that includes uh, the traffic map, the roadway flood warning system, as well as easy access to our Tow and Go program, you can download our Houston Transstar app. Okay. And that's the icon in the graphic. It's a it's an orange icon, basically. And uh, if you want to keep that graphic up, there is a tow truck icon that's in the top left corner. And so if you tap on that tow truck, that'll connect you directly with Tow and Go. And so uh, really, the app is the best way to go. It gives you access to to everything. That is really convenient. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, I don't see any other questions at this time. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience today? Um, I think the only other thing that I want to share is that uh, we do a lot of tours. I believe we gave a tour to a group of realtors not that long ago. And so when I was at the HAR conference, um, I did tell a lot of people about the tours. Uh, we give people tours about our traffic management center and um, the Harris County Emergency Operations Center. And really, um, it's kind of like a, uh, an incentive. Uh, we do have a training center as well. If any realtors or anybody wants to use our space for a training, and we're happy to give a tour afterwards as well. That's wonderful. And I know sometimes they are looking for that for meeting spaces and, and yeah, things like yeah, that. Exactly. So 
Excellent. Well, thank you so much. I'm seeing some thank yous um, in the in the comments. Um, so we, we truly appreciate the work that you do, especially during those times of emergency. We truly appreciate that. And then, of course, thank you for your time this morning. Yes, of course. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. I hope this was helpful for everybody. Absolutely. Um, well, next week, uh, be sure to tune in. We will be talking to Susan Anora, uh, who is our incoming secretary treasurer for the HAR Board of Directors. She's going to be talking to you about how you can get involved at HAR. So we'll see you next Monday at 9 a.m. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you all.